Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at the funnel steps within our funnel editor page. But before we look at the funnel steps, we're going to click on this above it, the launch checklist. And I'll bet most people have probably never even clicked on this. It gives you a brief breakdown of everything that you're still missing that you need to get completed in your funnel before you're ready to launch it. So it says squeeze page here. We got our custom, custom well, we can customize our template, but down here with order confirmation, we need to choose a template. And you can see it's got the little warning sign right here, which also tells you that you have not chosen a template yet. We have our custom URL set up right here, our custom domain set up. It is secured with SSL. And you want to decide where you want to store your lead. So we have to set up our email integration either inside of the page itself or up in the up in the publishing tab where we have our automation and there'll be a separate video on both of those. And so then we also uh, set up our payment processing. We have that connected because we had Stripe turned on and then we needed to add products into our two sales pages. And again, um, there's extra videos on how to set up products, including the videos in the payment gateways where I go through extensively how to set up products with your payment gateways there. So into the funnel steps we go, we'll just click on the first one for the squeeze page. And a couple things here, if you ever want to get rid of a page, you just, just highlight the page, come over here, click on X, and it is gone. Next thing you can do is you can grab a hold of any funnel step and you can just drag it wherever you'd like to reorder the pages. Sometimes you'll say, well, I want the, the sales page here and then I want the order form and the OTO. And then you go, oh, well, no, I really want this one before that one. And so you just, you just drag it up and you can move them around in any order you want because they will go linearly down here one after another unless you set the override on the funnel page itself. And I'll show you how to do that in later videos videos when we get into the page editor. Next thing down here at the bottom, we can add a new step and we'll just call this one our new test step. Hit enter. And whenever you create a new step, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to drop you into this page because you have to pick out some sort of a template to start working with. For myself, I like working with the blank templates, but in this case here, let's say we have our opt-ins. You can pick either email or thank you. You have sales pages. So a sales page, product launch, order form, one-click upsell, one-click downsell, Order confirmation if you want to run a webinar. You got your three choices here for webinar pages, membership, access, and the area for your lessons. In the, uh, the affiliate, if you're going to be running any kind of backpack type products and you want your uh, affiliates to have access, you can create those right here. You got specialized click pop pages and then you have miscellaneous as well. So let's just pick any old template just so we can set up this step. And the same thing with any other step that has not been completely set up. You just click on it. It will take us back into that same page where we can then pick out the type of template you want to use and then give you options on which one you can pick out of the list of templates below us. So I just clicked on webinar registration. So it pulls up a whole bunch of webinar registration templates. And again, I said in an earlier video, this is a really good place. You can come in here, you can start looking at all these different templates and get some really good ideas on how to set up your site. A lot of these uh, people got paid to create these funnels for Russell. And so there's, um, there's a lot of money in there and there's a lot of really great ideas on how to set up different things. Like even here, you can see how this, uh, this one section kind of goes up over. And so it's not just a straight line between the background and the top of the section. So there's all kinds of really good stuff inside of each of these templates. Now, let's say for some reason you didn't want this page in your funnel anymore. So let's just click on this and say remove from the funnel. Now, when you remove it from the funnel, it does not delete it. That's what this button here is for. What it does is it adds it down here at the bottom. So this little section just popped up and it says other funnel steps. And so we can click on that and it says order confirmation. So now this has been stuck down here and is no longer in our list of funnel steps. So let's come up here and let's click on, let's just do this one here, this test setup. And again, we will remove this one from the funnel as well. Now let's come down into our funnel steps and let's say we want to put that order confirmation one back in. 
So we just click on it and open it up. And as you saw with the test step, and now with the order confirmation, it says here, add to funnel. Instead of remove from funnel, it now changes it to add to funnel. And you click on that, and when you add it to the funnel, it will always add it to the very bottom of the funnel. So if you want to, then you can grab it and pull it up here underneath your order form. So now let's say we want to delete completely a funnel step. So let's take our test step, and we'll open that up, and let's add that back to the funnel. And now we're going to click on delete the funnel step. Now we would not have needed to add it back to the funnel. We could have just gone straight to the delete funnel step part. And then we'll click on that and it should delete the funnel step. And now the last button on this page, we can come over here and we can clone this funnel step. And again, I have much more training on how to clone and share and build templates and all kinds of stuff like that. But if we clone this funnel step, it will clone it only inside of this funnel here. If you want to be able to use it somewhere else, then you have to create it as a page template, which you do inside of the page editor. And again, there's further training on that. So right now, let's just click on it and let's just clone this funnel step inside of this funnel. And although it's showing on the page here, it says add to funnel because what it did is it stuck it down here at the bottom. And so let's just click on add to funnel and it will add it in right below the click pop. And then again, if you want to move it around, you just grab it, pull it up the page and put it wherever you would like. Let's just drop it right there. Now, one last thing on this page is this little gear icon. And again, I have further training on this, but one nice thing you can do by coming into this gear icon is you can change what the path is that people will see on the page once the page is totally rendered. Now, I have a whole video on paths and URLs and how they work inside of ClickFunnels. But just to show you this right here, let's say you want to call your page free course. That's what you want the path to be is free course. And then we will also put that down here as your path as well. Now, when somebody comes to the page, what they're going to see is your domain name.com slash free course. It's not going to have all the numbers at the end. It's not going to have any of the rest of that. It's just going to have free course. So let's now click on update the page. And what you're going to see happen is when you go back into your publishing tab now, it will have changed the name of your funnel step. So it changed the funnel step now to free course, and it also changed it right here. So now this is called free course. So now let's go back where we were and click on the gear icon one more time. And you see it saved it as free course and free course. So let's update the page. Let's go back into publishing. Now here's the key here. We have to wipe out the path because we don't want it to say squeeze page and the numbers afterwards. We wipe out the path, and now it's going to save it as a path of free course with numbers and letters at the end. But now if we go back to this funnel step, and we click on the URL for that funnel step, and if you'd done this for the first page in the funnel, it would be for the whole funnel as, as a whole. But here we go. Now it says free course. Although our step URL said free course plus these letters and numbers because we set it up in here in the little gear icon because we set it up properly in there. Then it gives us the clean URL at the end. And I always like to use this like put in free course, free this, free that, free book, you know, anything like that because people will see this and it will let them know what they're looking at on this page. So that is it for now. Like I said, there will be supplemental videos for automation, for product, and another supplemental video for how to set up your split tests. But otherwise, for right now, that is it for our funnel editor page. If you have any questions, reach out to ClickFunnels Support, and I'll see you in the next video.